The Chicago Bears have extended defensive tackle Andrew Billings on a two-year deal worth $8.5 million, $6 million guaranteed. We're going to break it all down here on today's episode of Chicago Bears Now. My name is Harrison Graham. So Ryan Poles does extend a defensive lineman, but uh, it is not Montez Sweat. It's Andrew Billings. Here's what Poles had to say in a statement after getting this deal done. He said, we're extremely excited to be able to keep Andrew in Chicago. He, his professionalism, dependability, toughness uh, he brings exhibits the type of player we want in our organization. Billings uh, had this to say, uh, it feels good that somebody appreciates you and that you're doing a good enough job that they want you around a little longer. I see a future here, not only for myself, but for the team. And look, we can talk about Jalen Johnson and Montez Sweat all day long, and we're going to do that here on this channel. Obviously, those are two players the Bears got to keep, but I like this move. It, Andrew Billings has been rock solid for this defense. Uh, I don't think it's a fluke whatsoever uh, that this run defense has vastly improved uh, with Andrew Billings on this defensive line. You look at his PFF grades here, and it is kind of interesting that his pass rush grade has been uh, viewed higher than his run defense grade, but I see his run defense having a huge impact when I watch him play. And I think the pass rush grade is actually legitimate. Even though he doesn't have a sack this year, he has 14 pressures. That is not a part of his game, at least before this year it wasn't. Matt Eberflus in this uh, conditioning staff wanted Billings to shed a little bit of weight uh, between or before training camp. He did that, and uh, I think it's uh, given him a little extra quickness uh, after the snap of the football, and he's been able to get into the backfield some. So that's been nice to see as well. Before the addition of Montez Sweat, and obviously we haven't seen him play here yet, but Andrew Billings has been your best defensive lineman this year. Uh, I, I would take that to the bank all day. Uh, Yannick Ngakwe is a more accomplished player. Demarcus Walker has a higher ceiling, but Andrew Billings has been your most consistent player on this defensive line. And again, I don't think you can downplay his impact on the run defense. You're only giving up 78.8 rushing yards per game, which is good for third in the NFL. Last year, the Bears were 31st in the NFL, and I want to say it was at about 160 yards per game allowed. They've more than doubled their improvement there. Now, Past defense is a long way to go, and some teams are just saying, well, they're pretty good against the run, so we're just going to keep throwing. So those numbers might be inflated a bit, but it's a legit top 10 rushing defense. There, there's no doubt about that. I mean, they shoot the gaps at linebacker. Andrew Billings is uh, taking on double teams sometimes. So uh, it's been fun to watch. That's the one area on this football team that's been consistent. And uh, I think Andrew Billings has been an anchor and a big reason for why that has been the case. So grade the Andrew Billings contract extension. Type A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Grade the Billings extension of two years, eight and a half million with six million guaranteed. I personally would give it a B plus, A minus. I think it's a pretty good deal for both sides. We got a subscriber battle going on this week between our Bears Now YouTube channel and our Saints Now YouTube channel because the Bears, of course, take on the Saints uh, here this week. Uh, we have picked up 132 new subscribers. Saints Now has picked up 106 new subscribers. So tight race here with myself and Trizzy Trace, who runs our Saints channel. You guys have seen him before. So let's win that competition. Hit the subscribe button here on Chicago Bears Now. We publish daily videos, including the latest news rumors. We had NFL trade deadline coverage all day long. We'll continue uh, to bring you videos on a daily basis here on this channel. Okay, you look at the Bears injury report here for Thursday. Uh, a couple new additions here. Justin Fields is still a DNP. He's already been ruled out this week. I don't expect Nate Davis to play this week with that ankle injury. Larry Borum listed as personal, so not going to speculate what's going on there, but what I will say is, looking ahead, if for some reason he can't go, uh, Braxton Jones, who's still on IR and was limited with that neck as you look at this injury report, I don't know who would play left tackle if Braxton Jones isn't activated. So hopefully it's just one of those personal days where he had a family situation and he, he's back at it tomorrow. But definitely keep an eye on the Friday injury report. Mercedes Lewis had his rest day. Uh, Tremaine Edmonds, uh, he's not going to play, I don't think, this week dealing with that knee injury. Jaquan Brisker still in the concussion protocol. I don't expect him to play. Terrell Smith still has mono. Don't expect him to play. Uh, I do expect Eddie Jackson to play. He's practiced in full the last couple of days. Lucas Patrick has as well. So both those guys should be good to go. A lot of guys banged up, but uh, if Jaquan Brisker's not going to go, you at least need Eddie Jackson out there. Otherwise, you're playing two backup safeties just like you did last week against the Chargers. And 
look, uh, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, if you win this game, you're going to be a playoff team. But if there's any hope at all, you've got to win this game against New Orleans. And look, at some point, you want to win some games, right? Like, I, I know we're looking ahead to the draft and this and that, but you've got that Carolina pick. So I still think you're in a mode where you want to try to win football games. And the Saints at 4-4, four and four, they've been up, they've been down. I think it's at least somewhat of a winnable opportunity on the road this week. Okay, some storylines for this matchup. Tyson Bajan, of course, making his third start with Justin Fields, still sidelined with that dislocated thumb. And it's been a mixed bag for Bajan. I mean, for an undrafted rookie, I think when you watch the kid play, you can tell there's something there. Now, um, the accuracy has been good. Obviously, it's been a lot of underneath dink and dunk stuff. Not huge volume, 477 yards and two starts and about a quarter and a half against Minnesota. One touchdown to three picks, had two last week. That's got to get cleaned up, obviously. He's got to play mostly turnover free for this team to have a chance to win. Does have a couple of rushing touchdowns on the uh, tush-push play. But obviously Tyson Bajant um, needs to play uh, better than he did last week if the Bears are going to go into New Orleans uh, and win this game on Sunday. Today's show is sponsored by Prize Picks, the best daily fantasy sports app on the planet. Football season is in full swing, and I've had a blast winning up to 25 times my money on several entries with Prize Pick, which you can win up to 25 times your money with a six player entry. And now I'm starting to do the same with my basketball picks as well. The NBA is underway, and it's time for you to cash in. You just select two to six players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. It takes less than a minute. Check it out right now, pricepicks.com slash CLNS, and use code CLNS for a deposit match up to $100. For my uh, price pick entry this weekend, I've got DJ Moore, less than 56.5 receiving yards. I got Cole Komet, more than 34.5 receiving yards. I also took the Moore on Alvin Kamara, more than 36.5 receiving yards. Again, up to 25 times your money on any given entry. With this being a three-player entry, I can win up to five times my money. 10 bucks to win 50, 20 to win 100. Feel good about this one. Uh, PricePix even offers a reboot policy so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. What a deal for football and basketball games. If you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player is rebooted. PricePix is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. Go check them out today. Code CLNS at pricepix.com slash CLNS. Get you a, a deposit match up to 100 bucks. Okay, uh, Montez Sweat's debut, right? I mean, that's got to be um, something to watch for in this one. By all accounts, sounds like he is going to play uh, for the Chicago Bears. He practiced on Thursday. He was out on the practice field. Um, and Rolly and I talked about this during the trade deadline. There's one position where you just come in. It's like, yeah, I, I can play in a hurry. It's edge rusher. I mean, you set the edge in the run game and you get after the passer uh, in, the, in the passing game. Obviously, there's different stunts. There's different calls. There's probably occasional calls where defensive ends drop back into the flat, et cetera. But uh, he said he believes he'll be ready to play uh, in this one. Matt Eberflus didn't sound like someone uh, that wasn't going to play at Montez Sweat. Hell, Chase Claypool played last year, and the Bears' offense is more complex to pick up than – uh, just being a pass rusher is. So I could be out there. Could he be on some sort of a pitch count due to still learning things? Sure. But uh, if I'm the Bears, my pass rush stinks. So I'm, I'm getting Montez Sweat on the field as soon as possible. Okay, number three, uh, get DJ Moore more balls. Phrasing. Yep, yep. You know what? More targets. Rolly laughing in my ear. Uh, we're having fun here. All right? Get DJ Moore footballs. That is a recipe for success. I've found this interesting. So in that game in Washington in which this team scored 40 points against Montez Sweat and the Commanders, DJ Moore, 8 for 230 and three touchdowns. I mean, look, I don't expect that every week. But uh, the last three games uh, combined, he has 17 catches for 160 yards and zero touchdowns. He has over 50 yards in all three games, so it's not like he's just been like a non-factor, but we haven't seen that big explosive game, like 90 yards at a touchdown, 100 yards at a touchdown, something like that. Like, I just think you have to force feed him a little bit, and hopefully in practice that's been a uh, a, a, a talking point with Tyson Bajant, like, hey, we're going to get him more uh, targets this week. So hopefully that happens. Uh, I got to see it to believe it, but uh, he's too good of a weapon to go three games without cracking 60 yards. I mean, we've seen him ball out this year. Eddie Jackson returning, I put question mark. Uh, obviously, it's not official, but he's practicing full the last couple of days, and 
Uh, you need them out there. You just do. Um, this defense is reeling in parts uh, in the secondary. Brisker doesn't look like he's going to be able to go. Tremaine Edmonds doesn't look like he's going to be able to go. So getting Eddie Jackson back, uh, who hasn't played in a while, uh, will be very, very important for this Bears defense. All right, there you go. Predict the score. Bears, Saints on Sunday. Who do you guys have winning and what do you guys think the final score will be? Let me know in the comments. I unfortunately am going to take the Saints 24-20. to I think the Bears will play better than they did last week against the Chargers, but you're also not playing as good of a team, so that could be part of it as well. Uh, I know the Saints have a better record than the Chargers, but uh, the Chargers are more talented. Uh, give me the Saints 24-20. Uh, I think uh, it'll be a competitive football game, but uh, I still think the Bears need to learn how to win, so I'm not going to pick them to beat at least a decent team on the road until uh, they can show they can do it. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe. We'll be live for a Bears Saints watch party on Sunday, so you're not going to want to miss out on any of that. And, of course, we'll have more videos leading up to kickoff over the next couple of days. So hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.